For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16 Hello. We at Redwood Gospel Mission want to share with you a coat that will help keep you warm through the cold season. And we also want to share with you something that you could have that will last you eternally, the gospel of Jesus Christ. In John 3.16, the Bible tells us that God so loved the world, but your iniquities have separated you from your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you, so that he will not hear, Isaiah 59.2. Therefore, we have a problem that we cannot solve for ourselves. God loved us, but God cannot have a relationship with me because of my sin. But we have great news. God solved this problem by sending his son Jesus, who became a man and lived the perfect life. And when he died on the cross, he carried all our sins on him. His death and resurrection reconciled us with God and gives us a new life. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God. 1 Peter 3.18. Now many people say that they know this, but it's not sufficient only to believe it intellectually. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name. John 1.12. Now you can choose today to believe in him by faith and start a new life in him. Become a child of God, not only his creation, and to have the assurance of an eternal life with God. Or you can ignore his word and continue living in your sin. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 Eternal life is real. Our life does not end in this world. We can have eternal life with God or eternal life separated from God. Now there are three types of persons. Number one, the person that has no interest in knowing God. Then they might be sad, but they prefer to continue living without God. And number two, the person that has heard the message of salvation they know that they need Christ as Lord and Savior. They might go to a church, but have not decided to give their life to Christ. And number three, the person that has heard the message of the love of God, has recognized their sin and their need of God, and has determined to give their life to Christ, accepting Him in their heart as their Lord and Savior. Our question is, which of these people are you? One, two, or three? It is our prayer that you'll open your heart to Christ so that you may know for sure that you have eternal life. And may God bless you. And now it's time for you to follow the instructions on the screen.